Hi everyone and welcome back. If you are at the mixing stage of your song and you are struggling to control the lower frequencies, especially your kick from the drum and your bass guitar, and you are having a hard time to balance them together, well, this simple trick might be the way that you can control the low frequency. This is not something new or this is not some sort of a secret, but a simple way to control your lower frequencies. Here I have a project in Cakewalk by BandLab, which I'm going to demonstrate in, but you can do this in virtually any DAW. So here I have my kick and my bass, and all my drums are going into a bus called drums, and my bass going into another bus, which is bass, and my keys and guitars and vocals, etc. Let's bring up the buses. Here are my buses, my main, and I've got my drums bus, my bass bus, even though it's single channel, I prefer to send it to a bus. And then my keys, guitars, vocals, vocal delay, reverb, guitar delay and reverb are the effects that I'm using. There are no other plugins on my channels. It's a straight mixing stage or balancing stage. Let's have a quick listen of the song. It's nicely balanced, but I think my bass guitar is overpowering the kick. The kick is not there. Now we can use sidechain to control our bass guitar. So a signal from the kick will control the compression on my bass guitar. And I do have several examples of this. I will try to link a card or link in the description if you want to learn how to do sidechain. But in this example, I won't be using sidechain, even though I could. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my kick. Instead of going to the drums, I'm going to create a new stereo bus. So my kick is going to a new bus that just got created. And I'm going to call this low bus. Let's just move it. I'm going to press the alt key on my keyboard and I'm just going to drag it. Probably about Let's give it a color. And then at the same time, I'm going to come here, select my bass channel. Instead of going to the bass bus, I'm going to select it to go to the low bus. So now both my kick and my bass guitar are coming into this bus. Let's solo it and have a listen. <laughs> Right, there we go. That's my kick. And my... So technically now my bass bus is redundant, but I'll just leave it there. So now that I've got that, let's balance it a little bit more. Of course, we can still do a side chain, but I'll leave that for now to keep it simple. Now, all I got to do is add a compressor. Just going to use standard Sonatus compressor that comes in with Cakewalk, but of course you can use any bus compressor. I'm just going to choose a preset. Let's do bass guitar soft. And then we can adjust further. And let's have a listen. I can certainly hear the kick coming through and the bass guitar as well. Bass guitar is still a little bit loud, so I'm just going to turn it down. You can see the kick is actually creating lots of gain reduction.
I'm getting about 5 dB of gain reduction. So I'm just going to increase that about the same. Now I can control all of the low end kick and bass guitar with one slider. Makes it easier to balance with the rest of the music. Let's have a listen and let's bring it in. Simple as that, simple idea, and easy way to control your lower frequencies. Of course, you can take this further, to further processing, EQing if you really wanted to. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if videos like this are something you like to watch and learn from, consider subscribing. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next video.